Hey guys, my name's Logan Nimmo, and this is the Pretend Engineering channel where we pretend to engineer. And today we're gonna take an Arduino and we're gonna turn it into an instrument slash MIDI controller through the computer and hopefully you can have some fun with it in your DAW software of choice. Let's get into it. Let's wire up this instrument MIDI controller thing. Uh, we're gonna start out with three breadboards and then we'll want to hook up five buttons over this middle row here. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. Going forward, these will be buttons A, B, C, D, and E. So we'll add to them two potentiometers. Note the direction. We've got our two pins here facing what I'm gonna call forward and one pin facing what we're gonna go with as backwards. So the first thing we wanna do is ground all our buttons. So let's run five ground wires from this right hand pin to ground. Okay. We'll also ground both the potentiometers. This time we're going left hand pin to ground so I've done it if you want to follow my code exactly that's what you're gonna to need to do and then potentiometers to power so we'll take the other pin and we'll run it to power make sure you've got it right in your breadboard minus plus ground and power so now we're ready to wire to the Arduino that's everything with these on the breadboard so let's drop in an Arduino boom and what we're gonna to use to power the buttons is pins 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So let's run those all to the Arduino. So you see we're going left hand pin to the Arduino and button A goes to pin 12 and then we go backwards from there. Button E goes to pin 8. And we're going to run our potentiometers from analog zero. That would be these pins here, A0 and A1, to the one pin that we have left on our potentiometer. And then finally, we will just ground and power the Arduino. So Arduino provides power to the potentiometers. And it also grounds all the buttons. It provides power here with these green wires to the buttons. So that's everything for that. Um, our next step is going to be coding and we'll jump into that right now. So the screen looks pretty busy right now, but don't worry, we're gonna go over all of it. On the top left here, we've got Atmel Flip. What it does is lets us convert our Arduino to a MIDI controller. When we make the conversion, we will no longer see the Arduino here and we will no longer be able to update its code. So we've got to get it right before we use Atmel. Also with Atmel Flip, you'll want to download this Arduino master from GitHub. It contains in the compiled firmwares folder an Arduino MIDI hex and an Ar a USB serial mega 16U2 hex. We're going to use both of those files in the conversion process. Another software I like is MIDI OX. It is just a really convenient way to see if your MIDI is working or not. I've downloaded, or I've put the link to that in the description along with everything else you need. And finally down here, we've got the serial monitor for our Arduino. You can open it right there. All right, let's jump into it. We've got our push buttons A through E on pins 12 through eight, our potentiometers on A0 and A1 a uh, couple integers, and then we're defining the CC channels for our analog pots. I've got them on 55 and 54. I think you can choose from zero to like 120, a lot. So just pick one that you like. So in our void setup, we're gonna go MIDI begin, and we're also at the very top here, gonna go create default instance and include MIDI.h. So we want all our buttons to be input pull-ups and we want our analog pins to be inputs. We're gonna start the serial monitor. 
when you actually do the MIDI device, you've got to comment out all the serial stuff and I'll show that, but we do want it open right now for prototyping. So we'll declare the old values of button A as high or all our buttons as high. And then we'll declare the new values as a digital read of whether we've pressed the button or not. So if the old value and the new value aren't equal, i.e. you've pressed the button, then we're going to send a note. So this is note 60, it's C3. If you Google MIDI note numbers, it'll come up with all the piano notes and what their associated MIDI note number is. So we're gonna send note C3, 60, at full velocity, 127, to channel one. And then when we let go of the button, we're going to send it at velocity zero, we're gonna send note off to channel one. And then the serial monitor, we're just gonna print these to reflect that it's working properly. And then we'll make the values of the buttons the same so that they don't double up and we're not just sending infinite signals. So we'll do the same with button C, D, and E with different piano notes. I've labeled them in the serial monitor. All this code's gonna be available to download. So now onto the potentiometers, we'll declare the new value as an analog read. And we'll say that if there's a large difference, say 35, between the old value and the new value in either direction, that we want to send a change signal. So send control change of the value to the channel we defined earlier on channel one or the control channel to MIDI channel one. So we're gonna map as you know, or maybe you don't know, the potentiometer when you change its values will be read between 1023 and zero. And as those change, we want to be sending a MIDI signal between zero and 127, but I do 120 to give us a nice little buffer there. So we'll say as we turn the potentiometer, MIDI signal increases. That means analog one, new, down here is changing. And we'll display that in the serial monitor. So let's upload this code. Hopefully this works. Boom. And now our serial monitor comes up with the initial readings of the potentiometers. And I'm gonna press button A, boom. Button B, button C, button D, button E. Turning pot one. That all looks good. And turning pot two. So this 1020 and the pot read, here's the MIDI signal and here's how far I've turned the potentiometer. So I'm turning the potentiometer to zero and my MIDI signal is going up to 120. I wired the potentiometers in reverse and that's why that's in reverse. It works fine. So now we're ready to comment out all our serial and then uh, start the MIDI transformation of our Arduino. So I'll come back to you guys for that. Okay, all the serial data is commented out. So let's upload again. This is very key that we uh, run this upload again. So there we go. And tools, serial monitor. So you shouldn't see any serial monitor stuff when you press buttons or any anything that makes sense in the serial monitor should not be coming up when you press buttons and it looks like we got it all commented out. So that's good. All right, we're gonna short out two pins on the Arduino to make it ready for a firmware update. Those two pins are gonna be highlighted somewhere on the screen. I'm shorting them with a wire but you can short them with a screwdriver, flathead, whatever you want. You'll know if the shorting worked if when you go into Atmel Flip and you go Settings, Communication, USB, and go Open. If that works and you get no error, then you've shorted correctly. So we'll go Device, Select, AT Mega 16 U2. 
Okay. Should have done that before I did the USB thing. So communication, USB, open. Then file, load hex file. And here we are in that Hyduino folder. We are in the Hyduino master, compiled firmwares, Arduino MIDI. Okay. Check everything and run. And now we've turned our Arduino into a MIDI controller. If you want to turn it back into an Arduino, you short those pins, open it again, just like we did before, go load hex file, and then go C program files 86, Arduino, hardware, Arduino, AVR, firmwares, I think. Um, yeah, AT Mega, Arduino USB serial, and then right here, AT Mega 16U2, Uno Rev 3 hex. I just moved that into the Hyduino master folder so that they're both in the same spot, nice and convenient. Anyways, so if this worked, we will unplug our USB Arduino and replug it back in. If you're in a Windows computer, you should be able to go to your device manager and in sound and video game controllers, right here is Arduino MIDI. So that means it worked. So we'll close MIDI OX and reopen it because it doesn't like the same thing being open. Go options, MIDI devices, Arduino MIDI is selected. Open MIDI input, and now let's press the buttons. We can see we're sending notes on and off as we press buttons, and we're sending control changes when we turn potentiometers. And that means that it's all worked. You can go into your DAW of choice, mine is Reaper, download in the description again. And you should be able to play music and control whatever you want with uh, the potentiometers and the buttons. I'm not gonna do a DAW tutorial because this is getting really long, but hopefully you guys were able to make use of this and um, I had a lot of fun making it. So we'll jump to a full screen and we'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the build and want more, be sure to click the subscribe button and support the channel. Hopefully you got this thing to work and the instructions were a-okay. Um, it was a lot of fun to make. So until next time, happy designing. I'll see you next video.